Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, this is Action 6 bringing you part 3 of my Nazi Zombies uh, gameplay on Kino Dare and Kino Dare Toten. Sorry, I always want to say Untoten, but it, that's wrong. Uh, so, you might notice I'm moving double speed in this game, uh, which is uh, on purpose, because I mean, pretty much it's just me running around getting some guns. Uh, trying to get as many points as I can to get an upgrade this game because I wanted to at least show you how the pack a punch works on this map. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, very simple. The only difference is you only have about 20 seconds to uh, to 20 to 25 seconds to get your upgrade and uh, before you're actually uh, teleported back to the teleport pad. And sometimes, like I said before, you go uh, to random rooms such as Samantha's room or you'll go to a room with a dentist chair as seen in uh, in Verrucked and it has the the guy screaming when the bus saw goes off and or whatever tool that is. Uh, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, there's one uh, well, there's two Samanthas. Uh, one is with a big teddy bear, and then one is with like uh, looks like she was playing war with her teddy bears and stuff. I, I don't know, but um, but yeah, it's uh, really interesting. It'll be interesting to see how those uh, come into play in later maps that they they may be bringing in or may not be bringing in, I'm not sure if they're working on any map packs right now aside from uh, the originals, but um, anyway, uh, something I didn't mention or even do in this video with this strategy is uh, plant claymores when you're running from the stage to the stairs. Uh, don't even turn around and plant them towards where the zombies are going to be running. Just uh, bring them out of your inventory, and while you're running down that little narrow hallway behind the stage towards the stairs, just plant one, because uh, when they start walking or running towards you, then uh, they'll set it off, and that'll give it time for a few more zombies to kind of run over the claymore instead of it blowing up when one of them gets close enough. So uh, just a quick tip for that. And, um, yeah, so here I'm going to trade my guns for something with ammo. Uh, that's very important. Just because you have a great gun uh, with no ammo doesn't mean you should keep it. I think you need uh, at least some kind of gun with ammo. And if nothing else, then just, uh, then just uh, buy something off the wall if you have to, just to hold, hold yourself. Uh, or stay alive, rather. But uh, this round is dogs, which is pretty straightforward and fairly easy with a, sh with a shotgun. Uh, but I still nearly get down somewhere along in there. But anyway, um, so basically, I just keep running around the map like I did before. Uh, nothing really special or entertaining, but. Um, Something that I've noticed is that whenever I get a nuke, I usually get one right afterwards. Like if there's a considerable amount of them inside, then I usually get a double nuke, which I do not really know why. I'm not sure if that's a glitch or if it's supposed to be that way, but um, just something interesting. And uh, I do believe I get a pack of punch this, this round. I kind of need it, <laughs> but um, always try to make a crawler in that alleyway, like I said before. It's always useful. And uh, actually, I think right here is where I fail. Oh no, that's later. But anyway, uh, I do get it down in this in this game or this round rather, um, which that just means you'll get to see what single player down looks like. Um, nothing really special you, you do get two upgraded Colts uh, which is pretty cool uh, but only for the duration of your down so <laughs> um, let's see what else 
fire sale that means uh, that the box is only 10 points so anytime you get fire sale pick up try to pick it up uh, when you're gonna be able to get to that box all right and this is actually where I use the pack a punch uh, as you can see it's still 5,000 points and there's no guns to buy off the wall except for uh, for the grenades and there's the timer as you can see it's going backwards so that gives you that'll give you some idea of how long you have left and uh, now I try to get rid of my shotgun <laughs> ballistic knife that thing is pretty useless in zombies just to let you know um, it's, it's just it takes several knives like even when you shoot it it seems like it would take just one because that's like you know knifing but it takes a while alright so this is round 16 and getting close to the end and I just about went down there I was kinda panicked there but uh, yeah again that strategy I can't encourage that enough get claymores and plant them as you're running away it just it helps so much like, um, I usually get about 10 kills with one claymore simply because uh, they bunch up like that especially coming straight off the stage and it just helps so much and if you've made crawlers try not to get a nuke because that'll kill everything left and you won't have a crawler for what you gotta do and there is my down so see so you get akimbo uh, upgraded cults which is pretty cool so uh, this is nearing the end of uh, part 3 and uh, I'll be uploading part 4 soon here um, not sure when I'll get the chance but it'll be coming soon so keep an eye out for that and uh, thank you for watching hope you enjoyed it